My wife and I own a 2023 Cadillac Lyric debut edition, and it seemed as though there was a need for someone to make a charging curve. I didn't see any out there on the internet. So on my way back from a EV road trip into a charging desert today, um, I went to a beautiful place called White Waterfalls, and if you want to see the video, it's in my library, uh, EV road trip into a charging desert number 11. Uh, the tallest waterfall east of the Mississippi. Really pretty. I stopped off at an EVgo station that had a Delta 350 kilowatt charger. The Lyric is said to charge at 190 kilowatts. It has a 102 kilowatt hour battery and estimated EPA range of 112 miles with the single motor version that we have. What I found... Um, and just so um, I can convey the way this is done, the Delta chargers that EVgo installs are pretty commonly used for uh, charging curve creation. Uh, Kyle Connor uses EVgo uh, Delta chargers for his uh, charging curve videos and a few others I've seen also. They seem to be very reliable chargers. What I did is every minute I wrote down the state of charge, and how many kilowatts were being dispensed. What I found, the Cadillac Lyric was a little bit unusual. What it looked like, it had certain target uh, kilowatt ranges that it would request from the dispenser at certain levels. And these are just very general. So if you look uh, from 0 to 35, it would request 190 kilowatts. From... 36 to 75, it would request 90. Now, these are very general. What I found in, in practice, what happened was it would ramp up, and it was a nice warm summer day. The battery was warm. I had just come back from a road trip. Um, it started off um, about 180, and then it would slowly start ticking up to right around 190. I think I got up to 189, and I'll show you the other graphs here in just a second with all the specific detailed information. And then it dropped. And it looked like this was the new target, but instead of just dropping down to the target, it dropped well below the target. And then it started to ramp back up to the target. And then it would hover there for a while, and then when it got to the next stage, it would drop dramatically, like way down. And then it would start to creep back up to the target level, and then it would hold the target level, and then when it went to the next one, it would drop. So the charging curve was level, and then it would drop, and then it would come back up, and then it would drop. So normally what you see is a little bit more of a hump uh, or, or a uh, more of a smooth slope. So this was a little bit different in that respect. This is the traditional charging curve, as you would expect to see from any other vehicle. Um, down here is the state of charge, and if you look, several columns have the same state of charge because at the certain kilowatts, it couldn't you know, click on past. Up here, when it was uh, going at uh, close to 190 kilowatts, it was clipping along through the state of charge pretty good. And then as it started to slow down, you can see here, it took about two minutes to actually drop, but when it dropped, it would start to climb back up again and then it would stay there and it would, you know level up and then boom it would drop again and then it would start to level up and then boom it would drop again so that's what it looked like um basically it does get 190 kilowatts i saw it on the delta fast charger get to 189 um, i think that's this bar right here at uh 35 is, what is this? 30, yeah, 35 percent state of charge. It was at 189, uh, so it did up to 35 percent uh, get a really nice charge, and then it dropped down. And as I said, it started to level out right around 90 kilowatts, and then it dropped back down. And a couple of times it was in single digits, like here. I think it was a single digit number, like eight kilowatts, which is basically. Uh, below level two charging of a of a 48 amp circuit and here i think it's five kilowatts which is super low that's lower than a 40 amp circuit so anyway i would say it, it did pretty well all in all i was there for more than 60 minutes 
um, I showed up with, um, I was trying to burn off and I think I pulled in with 17 or 18 percent state of charge and I left with 86 percent state of charge and so let's see that would be let's say let's say from 20 to 80 in 60 minutes rough round numbers um let's do it right here this would be from let's say from yeah let's say from 20 to 80 let's go from 20 to 80 so that would be right around here to right around here so i don't know maybe 50 minutes for 20 to 80 percent charge um not too bad it does get 190 kilowatts or thereabouts but it only holds it until the 35 percent range so anyway um there was a lack of a charging curve for the cadillac lyric once again here's the stages that it goes through holds 190 to about 35 percent then it hovers at 90 for most of the charge and then it um, starts to clip on down as it comes in for a landing this is the charging curve feel free to take a screenshot if you have a lyric and you want to record this uh, so basically if you're under 75 percent state of charge you're going to be getting 90 if you're under 30 Eight percent state of charge you'll be over 150 um, so not too bad anyway hope you find this helpful